good morning from Lake Havasu. You know, the way the videos are going, I'm uh, about, I don't know, five to seven days behind. So that means like when something posts, when you watch this, I still have like five or so videos in the pipeline. So if I forget to do something, that means I won't catch it until five days from now. If there is an issue, if there's something on the lens, audio issue, if I forget to play, mention something, um, or something goes wrong, uh, I don't get it. I, I can't change it until later. So anyways, this is why uh, I'm holding this right now. It's my remote for the fan. Let's see if uh, I can get it to work. Because I realized there's a couple videos I forgot to do an outro for. I'm not sure if this uh, is going to work through the bus. No, needs line of sight. <coughs> Just want to let you guys know the fan is fantastic. F get it? Fantastic. Uh, but it's not the fantastic fan, it's the Max Air. So that turns it on. That turns up to 100%. See, right there, 100%. So from the front, we just got a, we just got a, a look when it's off. So it's very stealth. Let's see what it looks like when it's on. Okay, that's what it looks like when it is operational. Still very stealth. And like I said before, didn't have to move the solar panels in order for this bad boy to work. Pretty cool, huh? A lot of sucking going on here. In a good way. This is uh, what it looks like from the roof. Very, very stealth. Like I said, very, very, I mean, it might even touch. Very little space for this thing to fold down. Now, what I didn't do is, I didn't put sealant on top, and someone suggested that I seal the screws, but what I just realized is that there is silicone in the screw holes because I put it around everything here. So I did buy some silicone. Well, someone someone suggested lap sealant, Dicor. And yeah, you're right, that would be great. But in case I need to get it off, I got the white stuff. But you know what? I don't think I need it because I put Dicor. Sorry, I put silicone, butyl tape and then more silicone on top. And uh, I just don't think water's gonna come through. But thank you guys for suggesting that. And I didn't realize I had already covered my bases, so I got extra silicone. One more thing about the Max fan. I left it on all night with the inverter, and all I used was 20 amps. That's pretty cool. That's not much at all. And. Um, my inverter takes like 0.7, so I think it was very minimal usage on 60%, something like that. So, very good, very good fan to have, very good idea. Oh, let me show you all the organization I did last night. For example, I bought these butt connectors um, because I didn't think I had any. Let me just show you this awesome little thing that I filled up last night. Ugh. Hopefully nothing falls out because I just snapped one of them. This is all floating around in toolboxes and stuff and uh, so it's a nice way to organize all my stuff and I got this thing at Home Depot and it was like I don't know 14 bucks, 16 bucks, something like that and uh, all my stuff is nice and neat and organized. So if I need electrical stuff it's here, brand new screws, you know some odds and ends. Uh, these are a bunch of um, hinges and things, uh, gas and water stuff right there, fittings. Uh, anyways, you got you guys get the idea. Uh, I was never a really good organized person, and now I'm learning. And actually, Uncle Dan was obsessed, <laughs> obsessed with being organized. And now I completely understand why. It's just so handy to know where things are. These are life lessons that you learn as you, you know, grow older. So, um, yeah, it's all about minimizing 
aggravation. Also, I just found a way to make my own hand sanitizer. Claire Bear told me that be my to get rid of my stinky shoes and stuff like that was to spray isopropyl alcohol, rubbing alcohol, into my shoes and let it sit overnight. Boy oh boy was she right. <laughs> so I just took some essential oil and I just threw the little file away so I can't show you, but just take my word for it. It's like some real hippie stuff. All you granola fanatics will be proud of me. So this is not hydrogen peroxide. I dumped it out because this is a very nice spray bottle. And as you can see, 50% alcohol, well, maybe not 50% alcohol. There we go. I wrote it on there, but it rubs off. So maybe tear the label off, but you just spray it on your hands and the alcohol evaporates, leaving the essential oil. And, uh, yeah, it just kills a bunch of bacteria and you can kind of almost wash your hands with it. It's kind of cool. So that's a nice little life hack. Um, also, I finished up my tour with uh, Steve over there. Um, that's going to be on, yeah, you know, I've mentioned that before. It's for, for my trade for a website. And then I'm doing their bus uh, in a little bit. And um, maybe I should show their bus on my channel too. Um, I need to find a few more buses to get uh, my trade complete. But these are going to be more kind of like Dylan McGaster type videos where it's like there's B-roll some beauty shot, you know, a bunch of like, you know, I just like to roll, you know, kind of casual style. I feel like, I don't know, that's more my personality than making all fancy and stuff, which is cool too. Oh, and I want to check in and let you guys know something interesting about this battery monitor. So <clears throat> it has a bunch of different functions. You can test the voltage on uh, the vehicle battery and the solar battery, how much you're consuming uh, in amps and watts. Uh, how much from full capacity you are or have used and the percentage of your batteries so normally I start the engine and I do my uh, hot water kettle bus number two I would never use this thing again the reason being I had the engine off normally I have it running and I watched the monitor go from using two or three amp hours to 127 amp hours so then I started the engine and then it uh, the alternator kicked on I got my 50 amp current and then it was still using somewhere like 40 50 I've even seen it go as like 60 amps before with that water kettle so if you want to keep your battery system in good order do not buy one of those water kettles and use it on your solar system unless you have plenty of energy like the bricks of happiness bus has like two or three kilowatts that's like two or three thousand watts up top work 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 that's pretty much what i've been doing today but in a fun way uh trading videos for my friend brock we're gonna get a quick tour of the bricks of happiness bus you want to lead us through and just give us a quick rundown like a, a <laughs> like a, <laughs> like a, no, come on in of course thanks uh full uh 40 foot bus, international AM train. Uh, we have the, the whole the iWork mobile as well, so office space, couch, solar, extra bed, IKEA kitchen, bunk beds, wife, the lady, wife. <laughs> uh, oh, blind deaf dog. Yeah, blind right deaf dog. <laughs> King size bed, lifts up, lights under, bunk beds, composting toilet. We'll do a Feel quick uh, look at how amazing this uh, kitchen is here. This is Ikea stuff, you already told me, so the yeah. cat's out of the bag. But look at how nice this all came out. I was kind of avoiding Ikea, but I think bus number two is going to be Ikea. Um, and it might have bunk beds like these, so all my friends can have a place to stay. And look at that. This is a composting toilet. Shower area, which isn't finished yet. Look at that Mac Daddy king-size bed back here. That's pretty awesome. And if you guys want to see more pictures, Bricks of Happiness on Instagram and anywhere on the internet. Well, another magical sunset out here in paradise. As you guys know, this is the most amount of uh, staying still I, I've done. Yesterday was the first time I put gas in Dan the Adventure Bus in like two weeks, which was very cost effective for me. 
Uh, do you guys do you guys get a point for hitting it, or do you have to closest to it, or you got to be touching it? Closest to it. Uh, touching it is two points. Nothing yeah. for smacking it, though, right? Nope. We don't know what the acting rules are. We just made them up. Oh. <laughs> Again, Canadian rules. <laughs> just got invited into the game of bocce with the uh, other set here, so let's play. Thank you guys for spending time with me. Um, I am think I'm gonna get back on the road tomorrow. I may be meeting up with a mechanic or a jewelry artist. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been fun. This has been the, the, the longest I've ever spent in the desert. I think the longest I've ever spent in one time. <laughs> um, <clears throat> kind of camped out. Uh, you guys already know for different reasons and uh, yeah I can see why people camp out in the desert for winter it's a uh, pretty nice weather compared to places that are freezing below freezing close to freezing cloudy rainy snowy foggy haley all sorts of stuff and uh, yeah but it'll be nice to see the eastern half of the US uh, the goal was to see <clears throat> one state per week, but um, it's already been uh, much beyond my <laughs> my initial goal. So the bu bus cost me twice as much, took twice as long, and it's taken me twice the amount of time. Uh, so yeah, but it, it's cool. I, I, I enjoy this. Um, this has been the first campfires that I've ever done on the road. Campfires are pretty nice, although expensive on a regular basis and uh, yeah lots of ideas for bus number two um, yeah uh, my buddy Brian who came out to visit wants to buy Dan the adventure bus I have a potential buyer overseas as well not really sure what's gonna happen but that's why I think I'd like to wrap up all the states by uh, maybe end of summer and uh, allow myself uh, time to get up to Alaska and uh, figure things out um, and maybe do things yeah do things a bit differently next time and perhaps something a bit more uh, economical for the fuel so different options for that all right see you on the uh, road tomorrow <laughs>